In this video, we're going over our cat reroll comp, how to play it properly and get that first place. Ready for trouble? This is a slow roll comp that looks to build around Katarina as the main carry. The comp slow rolls at level 6 to 3 star basically every unit. Every assassin provides damage to the team, while units like Blitzcrank and Leona are the main tanks. This is a slow roll comp, meaning you'll roll your gold above 50 at level 6 to look for 3 star units. Katarina is the main priority, but you'll also want as many 3 star units as possible, prioritizing Leona and the assassins. At level 7, you'll be running Katarina, Leona, Talon, Echo, Shaco, Taric, and Blitzcrank. Your best chance to win is to hit as many 3 star units as possible. To make this happen, you'll want to build up a very strong economy, either by lose streaking or win streaking early. Hitting level 6 with a Katarina 2 star is often enough to stabilize, letting you start slow rolling without bleeding out. Since this comp doesn't use any late game units and you spend most of the game slow rolling, you shouldn't need to replace any units. Taric is the most replaceable one on the team, but the Socialite Hex provides free damage for Katarina, who, as an assassin, can be placed essentially anywhere on the board. However, depending on what augments you get or what emblems you can build, you may end up replacing Taric with another assassin. Speaking of augments, Assassin and Academy Soul are free upgrades for the traits that buff Katarina. Assassin Soul is better since it affects more of the team. Assassin and Academy Heart can be used to help early game or to reach the next trait tier at level 7. You can replace Taric with Twitch or Akali for an additional Assassin, or with Yumi or Garen for an additional Academy unit. That said, this isn't a huge upgrade over Taric Socialite Hex, so we recommend going for other augments first. Knife's Edge is great as you can safely frontline your Assassins. The free attack damage scales super well with Assassin Crit. Cutthroat will really help you keep the pressure on. Assassin comps usually win by bursting down enemy carries before they can cast too many times. The huge Mana Reeve here means you'll have a good chance of finishing them off before they can even cast once. Smoke Bomb can be nice to have to give your Assassin some survivability, but we prefer to go for more offensive augments. Trade Sector and Golden Ticket are auto pickups in any kind of slow roll comp, letting you hit way faster. If you want to stay more open to other comps, you can always just pick the augment that gives the most generic upgrade to your team. This will also be your only option if you're not given any augments that are specific to help your comp. Some examples include Celestial Blessings, Cybernetic Implants, and Thrill of the Hunt. Moving on to our items, we'll start with our main carry, Katarina. Like all assassins, her ideal damage item is Infinity Edge. After that, there are a plethora of items Katarina can use. We like Hand of Justice for healing and Ionic Spark to lower enemies' magic resistance. However, you can always give Ionic to another assassin and give her another item like Blue Buff, Titan's Resolve, Rabidon's Death Cap, Hextech Gunblade, etc. Her ideal 3 item setup is Infinity Edge, Ionic Spark, and Hand of Justice. Shaco, Talon, or Echo will end up being your secondary carry, depending on who's closest to getting 3 starred. You'll want to give that one all your extra offensive items, with Infinity Edge being the best choice. Echo can run more utility items like Morellonomicon, Frozen Heart, while Shaco and Talon will want more damage items like Hand of Justice or Runan's Hurricane. Leona's going to be our main tank, so she wants all your defensive items. Warmogs, Gargoyle, Bramble Vest, Dragon's Claw. If you end up with a spatula, you're looking to make Assassin or Academy Emblem. You can use these to try and reach higher tiers of the traits. Assassin Emblem can go on Taric since you want Leona and Blitzcrank to stay and take aggro. Academy Emblem should go on whichever Assassin you're close to 3-starring and stacking with items. Now let's break down our strategy stage by stage. With almost all default comps, you can start the game with just about any units and look to either win streak or lose streak. Most of the time you'll want to aim for a loss streak to make sure you're building up your economy, but if you find an early Cat 2 with good items, it may be better to try and win streak. Level up to 6 at 3-2 and build the strongest board you can with the units you find. At this point, save up to 50 gold and start slow rolling for 3 star units. You'll likely spend all of stage 4 slow rolling for upgrades. Even if you don't find your 3 stars right away, don't worry too much and keep going. You can roll down more after stage 4 to complete your upgrades. If you haven't found any upgrades by 5-1, roll down and hit as many as you can. If you find at least a couple 3 stars, you should be able to stabilize and hit level 7 add in Taric. Alternatively, if you already hit a 3 star or two, you can decide to either keep slow rolling at level 6, or level up to 7 to be more aggressive. At this point, continue rolling for upgrades, or try to hit level 8 to add in another unit. For our positioning, you can put your assassins almost anywhere on the board as long as they're lined up to jump on enemy carries. We put Leona and Taric in the second row so the enemy has to walk up to them, giving room for the assassins to jump into the back line. Blitzcrank can also go anywhere on the map, but try to pull a unit away from the enemy's carry side to lower their protection. Note, wherever the Socialite Hex is, you can simply place Katarina there. However, don't be afraid to stick a different assassin there if you want to send Katarina straight at the enemy carry. 
If you leave her on the hex for a few rounds, opponents will start positioning their carry on the other side, giving you an easy last second swap. Here's a great early game board for this comp. You can look into adding more Assassins or Leona for Academy 4. Blitzcrank also goes in very well as these units share the Protector trait. That'll give you everything you need to know to win with our Cat Reroll comp. Remember, you can follow along with this guide in-game with our TFT overlay, so make sure you download that and bring it with you into your next game.